Bonjour mes amis. Welcome to my channel, The French Station, the right stop for learning French. My name is Vignesh, your teacher and friend. I'm very thrilled to help you on your French learning journey and to make the language fun and easy for you. In this video, let's discuss the answers for the workbook exercises from lesson 3, Les Copains. We will make a note of the answers in this Word document and I will leave the link in the description below. The first exercise, écrivez les mots en français avec les articles indéfinis. So they have given you a few words in English. You need to write them in French using the correct indefinite article. The first one, book. Book is masculine in French. We say en livre. The second one, pencils. It is plural, so des crayons. The third one, rubber. Yun gom, it is feminine. The fourth one, boy. En garçon. The fifth one, lady. Yun farm. Yun farm means a woman or a lady. The sixth one, scale. It is feminine. Yun regler. The seventh one, child. Un enfant. The eighth one, chalks. It is le cré. The word cré means chalk. Le cré is in the plural form. Ninth one, clock. Clock is feminine. Yun or large. The tenth one, pupil, students. Des élèves. The word élève is nothing but students or pupils. The second exercise, relier les colonnes. Match the following. So, on one side you have the subject pronouns and on the other side you have the ethra verb conjugation. For the first one, je, it is suis, option D. Je suis, tu, A, option G. Third one, il, A, option F or option H. The fourth one, L, A, option F or option H. The fifth one, nous, som, option C. The sixth one, vous êtes, option A. The seventh one, ils sont, option B or option E. And the eighth one, elles sont, option B or option E. The third exercise, écrivez en français, write in French. The first one, j'habite en France, je suis français. So in the first blank, you need to write the country. And in the second blank, you need to write the nationality. The second one, il habite en Chine, il est chinois. Chine is the country, chinois is the nationality. The third one, nous habitons au Japon, nous sommes japonais. We live in Japan, we are Japanese. So, Japon is the country, Japonais is the nationality. It is in the masculine plural form because the subject is no. The fourth one, elle habite en Germany. The word for Germany is Allemand. Elle est Allemand. Allemand is the nationality. It is in the feminine singular form. The fifth one, elle habite en Angleterre. Angleterre is England. It's the country and elles sont anglaises. Anglaise should be written in the feminine plural form because the subject is feminine plural. The fourth exercise, mettez les phrases au pluriel. Write the sentences in the plural form. First one, c'est une fille. That's a girl or this is a girl. The plural form is ce sont des filles. These are some girls. The second one, c'est un cartable. That's a school bag. And the answer is, ce sont des cartables. These are some school bags. The third one, c'est une fleur. That's a flower. The answer is, ce sont des fleurs. These are some flowers. The fourth one, c'est un cahier. That's a notebook. The answer is, ce sont des cahiers. These are some notebooks. Let's move ahead with the fifth exercise. Corriger les fautes. Correct the mistakes. The word les fautes is the faults or the mistakes. First one. 
So we can rewrite it as Sethyun Regla. That's a scale. Because in this sentence, se is in the singular form, whereas de regla is in the plural form. So you can write it like this, sethyun regla, or you can also change se to sersong. You can say sersong de regla. The second one, il est française. That's not correct because française is in the feminine uh, singular form. So you can say elle est française. The third one, nous sommes sodia. No is plural. So the word sodia should also be in the plural form. Nous sommes sodia with an S. The fourth one, elle est japonais. The conjugation is incorrect. So the correct answer should be elle est japonaise in the feminine singular form. Or you can also say vous êtes japonais. The fifth one, se the stilo. Uh, the word se is singular. Stilo is also singular. So you can say se ta stilo. That's a pen. Let's move ahead with the sixth exercise. Rompli se le blanc. Fill in the blanks. Rompli se means to fill. Fill in the blanks. First one, je suis petit. I am small. The second one, nous sommes anglais. We are English. The third one, elle est française, she is French. Fourth one, there are two blanks and the last word is American. It is in the feminine plural form. So the answer could be elle sont American, they are Americans. The fifth one, vous êtes grand, E-T-E-S. The sixth one, tu es intelligent, you are intelligent. The seventh exercise, remplissez les blancs, fill in the blanks. So on one side you have the countries and on the other side you have the nationalities, masculine and the feminine forms. The first one is l'Italy, that's the country, Italy. So the masculine nationality is Italia and the feminine nationality is Italian. The second one Anglais is the masculine nationality. The country is Angleterre, England. And the feminine nationality is Anglais. The third one, Français is the masculine nationality. So the country is France. And Française is the feminine nationality. Française is the feminine nationality. Fourth one, Le Japon, Japan. That's the country. Japonais is the masculine nationality. Japonais is the feminine form. The eighth exercise, écrivé au pluriel. Write the plural forms. En bas, a stocking. De bas is the plural form. The second one, en livre, des livres. A book, some books. The third one, une trousse, des trousses. A pencil box, some pencil boxes. Fourth one, une croix, des croix. The word croix is same in the singular form and the plural form. Similarly, the word ne is also the same in the singular and the plural form. So the plural form is des ne. The sixth one is des gâteaux. The seventh one, des chapeaux. A hat, some hats. The eighth one, un oiseau, a bird. The plural form is des oiseaux with an X. The ninth one, yun gom. The plural form is des gom. And the last one, yun cre, a chalk. The plural form is des cre. The ninth exercise, chasse land through. Choose the odd one out. First one, livre, stylo, gom, crayon. So book, pen, eraser, pencil. Livre, stylo and crayon are in the masculine form. So you can choose gom as the answer because that is in the feminine form. Or you can also write livre as the odd one out because all these others like stylo, gom and crayon, you can keep them in a pencil box. But you can't keep a book in the pencil box. Second one, laid, petit, 
grande intelligente. See, petit is the odd one out because that's the only adjective in the masculine form. All the others are feminine. The third one, ne, croix, table, bar. Table is the odd one out because for all the other words, the singular and the plural forms are the same. The fourth one, a, de, the, trois. De is the odd one out because all the others are numbers. Let's move ahead with the tenth exercise. Complete avec l'article indéfini et le nom selon l'exemple. So complete with the indefinite article and the noun according to the example. So de fleur, de is the indefinite article, fleur is the noun. Over here in the first one we see a house. So we can say une maison. Maison is feminine. The second one, there's one cup. So we can say yun tas, a cup. In the third image, there's one boy and two girls. They look like friends. So we can say de zami. Or we can also say de copa. The fourth one, there is one cake. So a gato, a cake. The eleventh exercise, kole votre photography e présentez vous. Stick your photograph and present yourself. So you can present yourself in five to six simple sentences using the words and vocabulary, adjectives and the grammar topics that we have learned. So while presenting yourself, you would have to tell your name first. So we can say je m'appelle and write our name. That could be the first sentence. Second sentence could be talking about your age. So, you can say, j'ai 12 ans, j'ai 14 ans, etc. The third sentence could be about your nationality. So, you can say, je suis Indien for the boys. For the girls, je suis Indien. Or you can write any other nationalities also. The next point could be about where you live. So, you can say, j'habite un an. I live in India. And the last point could be about the languages that you talk. For example, je parle anglais. And you can write other languages also. The twelfth exercise, conjugate le verbe être. Conjugate the être verb. So the conjugation goes like this. Je suis, tu es, you are, and je suis is I am, il, elle, a, he or she is, nous, so, we are, vous êtes, you are, ils sont, elles sont, they are. The thirteenth exercise, mettez le dialogue en ordre. Write the dialogue in the correct order. Let's first go through all the sentences. Je suis chinois, I am Chinese. No, à Shanghai. No, at Shanghai. It's a city. Tu es français. Are you French? Tu habites à Beijing? Do you live in Beijing? No, je suis Italien et toi? No, I'm an Italian and you. So the first sentence could be Tu es français. Someone asks, are you French? And the other person says, No, je suis Italien et toi? No, I'm an Italian and what about you? So the other person replies, Je suis Chinois, I'm Chinese. And the other person asks, Tu habites Beijing? Do you live in Beijing? And the other person says, No, à Shanghai. No, at Shanghai. So, this is the correct order. Thank you so much for watching the video. Please subscribe to my channel, The French Station, to get notified on the upcoming videos. Like it and share it with your friends as well. Until then, a bientôt. See you soon.